Hey fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today I'm going to go over a ASVAB preparation practice exam for arithmetic reasoning. There are a lot of different tests for the ASVAB. It's a military placement exam. The only two that I really cover in my video series is arithmetic reasoning, which is really kind of decoding the words in a word problem. And then the second test, mathematical knowledge. This is actually the final exam for a 15 chapter course that I put together where I kind of break down all your foundational math skills. So as I go through this test, I'll mention what chapter it's covered. If you go to the description in this video, it'll, it'll give you a link to that chapter. So this is problem number one in arithmetic reasoning. It is related to my chapter number one, um, math operations. And you'll see why it's a reasoning problem because it's really about decoding the paragraph. So this is really how to do well on standardized math tests. And what I would highly recommend you do is have a notebook in front of you. You should do this problem before I do it. Pause the video, do the problem. And then after you do it, watch how I do it. I'm going to try and show you some tips and tricks and how to decode a lot of these problems. So step one is as I read through this problem, if you're taking it on paper, you want to write down as much as you can. If you're taking it, the computer version of it, you want to write down as much as you can on a piece of scratch paper that they allow you to have. You want to number it number one, so on your scratch paper, you're able to go back to it. So I just read the problem and translate it just to the numbers. Family video stocks 1,003 drama movies, so drama's 1,003. 518 science fiction movies, 253 children movies. Now I gotta read carefully here, how many more drama movies, how many more drama movies are there than children's titles? So this is actually an unrelated number, it's not even part of the problem. I just wanna know the difference between um, drama and children, so I do 1,003 minus 253, and I could actually do that pretty quickly because I could just round this to 1,000 and 250. 1,000 minus 250 is 750 is right there, answer A. And then I double check the other answers and see there's nothing close to that. Okay, number two. Again, this is chapter one in my video series about math operations, whole numbers. Mr. Vlasic needs to buy two pens for every one of his 17 students. So that means he needs a total of 34 pens, 17 times two. If pens come in packs of six, each pack costs 235, what's the minimum amount that he has to spend? Well, six goes into 34, you gotta get too many. So six times six is 36. So he needs to get six packs of pens. Times six will give him 36 and it'll cover every, every student in class. So then I do six times 235. So I'm going to do 235 times 6. 6 times 5 is 30. Carry the 3. 18 plus 3 is 1. 21, 2, 12, 14. And then this is in uh, decimal, the chapter on decimals as well. If I'm two places over here, I'm two places over here. And my correct answer is answer B right there. Okay, problem number three right here. This is a rate problem and also math operations. Brandon earns $1,050 a week. So he makes this amount a week and Brad earns $160 a day. So it's important to note that they're different rates. Both of them work eight hours a day, five days a week. So they each earn, they each work 40 hours a week. So we're gonna probably figure out how much they make um, per hour. So Brandon, we'll do it over here. Brandon makes $10.50 a week. So I'm going to do 1050 divided by 40 hours. So 1050 divided by 40. Won't go in there, but I'll go in there twice to give me 80. 105 minus 80 is 25. 250. 40 goes into 250 um, six times to get 240 with 10 left over. So 10 over 40 is my remainder over 40. So 26.25. So Brandon makes 26.25 per hour. And then Brad makes 160 a day. So Brad, I'll abbreviate D, makes 160 a day divided by eight hours per day. He goes into 16 two times. So Brad makes 20 bucks an hour. Brandon makes 26.25 an hour. 
how much high, who earns a higher hourly wage? Well, Brandon's making 26, 25, so it could only be a Brandon one, so it's either this one or this one. And then how much higher does he make? 26, 25 minus the 20 is 6, 25. So that's a rate problem. Okay, problem number four, this is an algebra problem, so you might want to go back to chapter eight and watch review on algebra. I got two people or two variables, Matt's dad and also Matt's part. Matt's dad is five times old as him. So five times Matt's age is equal to the dad's age. I have two variables here, so I need a second equation. The difference of their ages is 28. So dad, dad's age minus Matt's age is equal to 28. Now I have two equations and I could solve. I know that D is equal to 5M. So that means I could replace this D right here with a substitution of 5M. So I have 5M minus M equals 28. 5M minus M is, I have 4Ms equal to 28. Divide both sides by four, and M is equal to seven. So Matt's age is seven. How old is Matt? Seven. Number five is a fraction problem. I can see it right there, 3 twentieths. I have two people, Dana and Megan. They have to fill 500 envelopes for a charity. At the end of the morning, Dana's filled 3 twentieths of the envelope, and Megan has filled one force. So I'm going to be comparing these two numbers. So I need a common denominator. I could take this value and multiply it by one, so it's not to affect the value. And I want that same bottom number, same denominator. So I multiply this by five over five. That's going to give me a 20 on the bottom. So that'll give me five twentieths. And then Dana has three twentieths. How many envelopes have they filled together? Well, I'm going to add these two fractions together. I add across the top to get eight, I keep the bottom the same. So they have filled eight twentieths of the 500 envelopes, but we're not looking for a fraction, we're looking for a number. So eight twentieths, I could actually re uh, reduce that by two will go into both numbers to give me four tenths. So eight twentieths reduces to four tenths, it also reduces to two fifths, but I think I'm just gonna keep it four tenths and know that four tenths is 40% or I do four tenths times 500, four times five gives me the 20, and then I gotta add that zero. So four tenths of 500 gives me 200, and there's my correct answer right there. Okay, number six, this is gonna be another fraction problem, that's chapter two. If you don't remember fractions very well, go back to the description, watch the video on chapter two, some of those practice problems. Again, if you're doing this whole course online, you know, watching the videos, Hopefully you have a notebook and you're just referring back to your notes in your notebook labeled chapter two, which was a video on fractions. Okay, a school garden had been divided into seven eighths square meter plots for students. If the area of the garden is 210 square meters, how many students can get plots? So I have the 210, and then what I need to do is divide it by seven eighths. So I divide it by seven eighths, Remember chapter two, fractions. If you don't remember how to divide fractions, the way you divide fractions is you multiply by the reciprocal. So you flip that thing over and then you multiply. So I'm doing 210, the total square meters, divided by the seven eighths per student. Then now to multiply fractions, I'm gonna reduce first. Seven goes into seven one time. Seven goes into 21 three times or into 210 30 times. Then I have 30 times 8 or 240. Answer A. Again, make sure you have your notebook in front of you. You do the problems with the video pause before I do them and then watch how I do them. Okay, problem number seven. Uh, I see the percent time in, in there. So it's a percent problem. This is chapter four in the video description. Again, this is the arith arithmetic reasoning portion of the ASVAB exam. But all these math problems are the same in all standardized tests, whether you're doing a union entry exam, um, a contractor's exam. But this part right here is really about being able to decode the paragraph into math and come up with an answer. Versus mathematical knowledge will cover more of the chapters I went over. 
uh, and, and really kind of use a lot more of the equations in math. So two ways to do the ASVAB. One is on paper. If you're doing that, mark up the test as much as you can. Or if you're doing the online version, you have scratch paper, write as many notes as you can, numbering what problem you're working on. So when you go back with extra time, you're not looking all over the place. So it's pretty well organized. So I'm going to convert this paragraph really just into like a little chart. I have a total of 300 kids. 30% of them are first graders. So of the first graders, 30%. 45 are second graders. 45% are second graders. And the rest are third graders. How many more first graders were there than third graders? So I got to figure out how many third graders there are before I could figure out the difference between first and third. Well, I know that all three percentage is going to be the total, so this is going to have to add up to one. 30 and 45 is 75. 75 and 25 gives me the full one, so I have all of them accounted for. And then how many more first graders were there than third graders? Well, there are 30% first graders, 25% third graders, so there are 5% more first graders and third graders. So 5% is good, or 0 0.05 is a decimal, and there's a total of 300. So I multiply that by 300. I might be able to see that 3 times 5 is 15, and there's my correct answer there, or I can multiply out that long division to get the same 15 as well. Okay, problem number eight. Uh, again, I'm in percentages. That's chapter four. Uh, link in the description, as well as the link for this test as well. A dress that costs $155 is on sale with a discount of 25%. So I'm going to take that 25%, convert it to a decimal. I remember that is like a little arrow. The decimal place is there. It'll go over one, two. So it becomes 0.25. And I have to find what that discount is off of the 155. So I'm going to do 25 times the 155, 5 times 5, 25. Carry the 2, 25, 26, 27. Carry the 2, 5, 6, 7. And I'm going to do placeholder here. 2 times 5 is 10. Carry the 1, 10 plus 1, 11. Carry the 1, 2 plus 1, 3. Out across 5, 7, 8, 3. I got a decimal place over 2. So I have a decimal place over here as well, one, two. So my discount, right, is 25% discount is 38.75. So I have to do the 155, zero, zero, minus the discount at 38.75. So I'm gonna, I could just do 155 minus 39. If I could do that in my head, I don't know if I can. I think that'll be 116. And then I got to remember that extra quarter. But the only thing that's close to 155 minus 39 is 116. Chapter 9 right here. Um, this is going to be chapter 5 ratios. I have two people, Marlo and B. Marlo pays 750 rent each month. B's rent is 12% higher. So if B's rent is 12% higher, I could say Marlo's is 100%. 750 and then B's is 12% higher or 112. So 100 is to 112 as what 750 is to what. So I got to figure out what is the ratio of Marlowe's rent, the ratio of Marlowe's rent to B's. Actually, I don't even need that dollar amount at all. I know Marlowe to B is 100 to 112. That answer is not up there. So I'm going to have to reduce. Two will go into both these numbers. Two will go into 100 to give me 50. Two will go into here to give me 56. That's still not there. I could continue to reduce. That'll give me 25. Half of 56 is 28. And I could see Marlowe to B's ratio is 25 to 28. Or answer C right there. I don't think I'll actually do this whole arithmetic reasoning test in one single video. I don't want to run on too long. I'll break it down into two parts. I think there's a total of 16 problems on here, so I've done a little over half, and then I'll do the other half next week. Uh, this is going to be kind of this, coupled with the mathematical um, knowledge, 
um, part of the ASVAB is going to be the kind of final exam for this course. So I hope this is helping. If you have any questions at all, please ask them in the comments. If you're new to the channel, think about subscribing. I uh, appreciate you watching, and please, any questions, put them in the comments. Thank you.